Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, with the current global happening, we find ourselves with a lot of time on our hands locked in our houses. So I've been playing with a bunch of different ideas, um, trying a bunch of different uh, recipes and playing around with ingredients that I happen to have on hand. One of these ingredients is this. This is called candy sugar, uh, candy with an eye. Or this is a version of candy sugar. Now I use candy sugar in the brew house. Uh, I put it in a lot of uh, really big beers, big bold beers. Um, a lot of Belgian beers use it. And it is essentially just caramelized sugar. And you put it into the beer in order to uh, raise the amount of sugar in the beer so that you get a higher alcohol beer. But it brings that caramel note, that caramely flavor into the beer. It's fantastic. So of course, what can I do with it in the kitchen? And I'm going to be playing with it in a bunch of uh, cookie recipes and cake recipes and everything like that. So I thought I'd just show you how to make this. It's super simple. And you want to use white refined sugar. You don't want to use uh, brown sugar or sugar in the raw. White refined sugar will give you the cleanest flavor and it's going to brown really nicely. After an hour, and you can just start to see it's turning a little bit amber and you can certainly smell it. So I give it a stir just to mix it all together and then put it back in the oven. Now, of course, you can make this a lot darker. You don't have to do it in the oven. You could do it on the stove top in a pot. Now, when you get to this point, it's not going to take much more. It's pretty much all caramelized. So I'm going to give it one more stir and I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to get that last little bit caramelized. It's also really sticky at this point, so be super careful with it. Okay, molten liquid sugar is extremely dangerous. Because it's hot, it will burn you, but also because it's sticky and you won't be able to get it off while it's burning you. So wait until it is fully cooled and hardened. Now, once I've reached the level of caramelization I'm looking for, the color that I want, I very carefully move it out onto a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Now you're going to notice that it's not fully melted. But there's still some sugar crystals inside. And once you get it like this in the bottom of a pan, you can just break it up. Just use a meat mallet if you've got one or just crack it on the countertop. Break it up into, into bigger pieces and then I stick that into a food processor and I grind it down almost until it's a powder. But even when I get it down to mostly a powder, there's still bigger shards. And what I found with cookies, those bigger shards give you this crunch. And when you crunch into it, you get this immediate blast of caramely flavor. And it is absolutely fantastic. So um, there's at least two cookie recipes coming up where I'm just playing with this idea and trying out a, a recipe and trying to figure out how it works. But I'm also going to be playing around, I guess, with um, cakes and other places where you could put this sugar. So. If you've got some time on your hands and you want to try out something new, just give this a shot and, uh, and put it into your baking and see what happens. So thanks for stopping by. Stay safe, stay healthy, and don't panic. See you again soon.